Hello crew, hello. Welcome back to my channel and my premiere video. Hmm, what are we doing? I am Martha Vintage Conversation. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Hello Moonlight crew. It is a Thursday night and here we are supposed to be having a lovely, lovely live sale. Well, what can I tell you? I am on vacation. My husband and I needed some getaway time for just the two of us. We still have um, one at home and one that lives on the same property as us. So it, it's like still having kids at our age. We, we still have kids at our age. What am I saying? They're not gone. <laughs> That's very strange. But you know what I mean. And all the responsibilities and so it's just nice to get away sometimes and pretend it's just he and I that it's just the two of us that we are like we were when we were young and if you look at my Instagram channel you can see what that looked like okay we were we were hot <laughs> or not just depends on how you look at it but I thought he was the I still think he's cute so he's still my hubby I love yeah, he's still my hubby he's still my honey <laughs> and I love him to pieces so anyway right now as we speak I will be probably propped up in a in a little motel room somewhere in the West let's see this would be Thursday night I'm thinking I'm in Arizona or maybe even California by now. I could be wrong if we got a late, set, late start. Let's see, Tuesday night's gonna be in Texas. Texas is big, y'all going that way. It would, we'll be in Texas Tuesday night. Especially since Tuesday I have to stop and drop off packages from some wonderful people, some supporters who purchased items at last Thursday's sale. So I'll have to stop and do that. And of course, you know, you gotta stop, you gotta gas up the car, you gotta get snacks for the road, that sort of thing. And um, if we went towards the Bucky's on the west side, you know, anyway, if we could have went by Bucky's, we stopped so I can get some meringue. Um, if you haven't had any of the meringues from Bucky's, which is a Texas thing, oh, girl, you gotta get some. That's in fact, Beth, get some meringues and send them to Dolores. My Lord, girl, stick one in there for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> so anyways, this is a premiere. And so you guys should be in the chat, chatting it up right now. And I should be in that chat with you. Like I said, um, sitting in a hotel room somewhere, probably Arizona, California, whatever let's be chatting so what are we gonna do tonight well I have purchased a few things from our friends in the community other resellers and so I thought well what I would do is show you some of these items that I have purchased in the recent past and uh, that would give us a little, a little opportunity to chat and say hello and you know kill two birds with one stone so to speak in that eloquent way I have of, of putting things so tonight we have items from the junking data girl cha-cha from Christine side street market D thrill of the thrift we have something from Gina at vintage digs a little something from Sabrina at a Simon says let's make a deal and there is even something from Sam and something from Sarah in this haul. And da -da -da, our last item in the evening will be this box, which is a mystery box from Patrick the Trusty Huckster. So if you were just over at Patrick's channel and you tried to get one, and didn't keep trying because I haven't seen what's in here yet 
but I know it's going to be good. We're all going to find out. And if you did get one, congratulations to you. And if you've had them in the past, well then, you know what I'm looking forward to here. So I'm very excited and we will, we will get to Patrick at the end of the video. Um, let's see. What are we doing on our trip? We are, of course, thrifting. You know, I'm looking for little antique places, little malls, little stores in little towns, little flea markets and things like that in out of the way places. So I can hopefully find something different and unique or very shiny or whatever that I think you guys might like to see. Things that I might like to put up. I have things that, you know, I want to add to my collection. I'm always looking for a cheap vintage pattern to put with my pattern collection. And I do mean cheap because I am a cheapskate. I like to, I like to see how cheap I can get the patterns, you know. When you've, when you've found them at the bins and you get them for weight, it just really makes it hard to pay a lot of money. And, but unfortunately, if you want to get into um, that as a collection, they're generally not that expensive to pick up. So, I've picked up some from Patrick. Um, let's see, what else are we doing? Well, you know, when we came through Arizona before, we went to um, the, the crater in Arizona where the movie Starman was filmed, where he went to meet up with his people when they came back to get him after he'd crashed on Earth. Lovely Jeff Bridges flick. So, we've been there. and. They also, in the bottom of that crater, is where they originally practiced for the, the moon landing back in 69. Uh, they went there because they felt like um, it gave them some, some realistic training for the guys to uh, be down in the bottom of this crater. So you might want to, you might want to check it out. And it's very interesting to go to, very interesting. It is, the crater is where a meteor struck the earth at some point in our ancient history. So we've done that in Arizona. And in New Mexico, of course, we went to um, um, Roswell, to the Roswell Museum to see all about the, the alien crash there. So, um, and I liked Roswell. That's a, that's a beautiful little area there. So that might be, you know, some place that we're interested in to, to get them of course we were so darn tired there we went to we went to bed at four o'clock people and slept all night we were so tired because i believe we had actually did we do that in one sitting i don't know i don't remember but i remember when we got there we were so exhausted and we went and did the museum and then we went to bed if we went to bed it's shameful close the curtains tucked them up tight so it would be dark and we zonked out it was, it was funny. We were so old people, apparently. And, and it's shameful because I wanted to get out at night and look, you know, at the stars and look for aliens and stuff. Maybe this time. Who knows? And let's see. Oh, probably we'll have stopped in Waco here in Texas to go to um, the the... Fixer Upper in Waco to, you know, Magnolia Marketplace and stuff to check all that. We, we stopped there once. It was on a Sunday. They were closed. So, it'll be during the week this time. So, we're going to drive through there. So, I'll get, some, I'll get some pictures and stuff there of that. And let's see what else. Hmm. In California... I want to go to the Winchester Mystery House there in San Jose. Yeah. My mom went there in the... Gosh, my mom went to California in the 70s before I got married. I didn't go. I stayed at home alone. <laughs> and um, she took pictures there and she got a picture of it. We all believe it was a picture of a ghost. We believe it was a picture 
of Sarah Winchester. So, taking lots of pictures at the Winchester house, if that is allowed, that's, that's what I will be doing. So, I'm very excited to go there, very excited to go. I remember when I was young, I always wanted to go to, to Grumman's Chinese Theater. It's, I think it's Man's Chinese Theater now, if it's still. They used to have all the, the, the premieres and stuff in old Hollywood there. So I always wanted to go there when I was little and go on the, um, the I guess it's the Hollywood Walk of Fame and, and see the Hollywood sign and all the hand prints and still John Wayne <laughs> like Lucy and Ethel did. <laughs> oh, all those. I just, I, because when I was a little girl, I believed if you walked down the streets of Hollywood, you would see actors, you know, Hollywood stars, just strolling the streets, ready to, I don't know, give out autographs, meet people, take pictures, whatever. <laughs> but you know, that, that's what kids, that's what kids picture things as, you know, that, like cartoons and things like that. So that's what I thought. So I'm excited to do that. And I'm thinking about driving up the, the coast so I can look at all that and then go maybe into Washington. Maybe see the redwoods. And if, if you know, there were some, somebody in the community, anybody in the community, you know, that wanted to meet up along that way, you know, I'm hoping someone will have reached out. Maybe I will have met someone, got to say hi, take a picture, do a little shopping, whatever. You know, any little thing would be fun to get to meet and connect with you guys. That would be great. So, sound off, you know, <laughs> if you want to, uh, if you want to say hey or do something, let me know. Um, um, like I said, we're going through New Mexico and Arizona into California and then up the coast probably to Washington. Maybe we'll go all the way to Oregon. I don't know. And then um, I want to come and see the, these two things were a trade-off because I wanted to go to the Midwest to go thrifting. Indiana, you know, Illinois, maybe even work my way over to uh, Pennsylvania, that sort of thing. And you, you say, you're going to work your way over to Pennsylvania from Indiana and stuff. But you're talking to someone who we went to Arizona to pick up some beautiful ge uh, geology, um, you know, some precious stones and things like that, big ones for a college in Pennsylvania. So we, we went to Arizona, we picked those up in the trailer, and then we took them to Maine, and then we drove down through New York along the coastline, we drove down to Florida, went to Jacksonville and then we came across and we went to Pensacola and then back over to Texas. So that's, that's who, so when I say, you know, I want to go to Indiana and then maybe go over to Pennsylvania, I'm serious <laughs> and it's, it's, it's something we would do. But my husband loves to go west. It's, he's just, he was born in Arizona, although he left it when he was a baby, he feels an affinity to it. He was born basically at the the base of the superstition mountains and so he loves it there you know so he always likes to travel that way so the trade-off was that he would take me to waco you know to, to see that and that on the way back we would go through utah through salt lake and down into um lehigh because i want to go to um, Jamie Ray Vintage and shop in her little store and take pictures and do some thrifting around the area where she does thrifting and oh my goodness if she should be there her and Zeb and you know Mariah any of them that would be oh I would be fangirling to meet them and take pictures and Beth from Sweet Treats and Pretties she would be fangirling too and will even at my luckiness, luckiness, fortune, my great fortune, <laughs> if that should happen. So, 
though that's kind of the things that you know that we're looking at thinking of doing so you guys you know like I said if anybody wants to do something let me know I'm on Instagram same name you can hit me up through my email I'm not supposed to say that anymore my my son has told me do not say hit me up so you can contact me through my email and uh, we'll see if I we're gonna be in your area and maybe we can you know and I'm not gonna say hook up either don't even ask me to I just said it and I should have said but it's what I was thinking but it's not what I meant okay it's just not what I meant you know what I meant so let's 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 get to the goodies I'm sure you're laughing it up ha ha and up you know chuckles and chuckles and the, over there in the chat I, I can see you I can see into the future I see it happening so Let's get on with the haul and the spread, okay? In no particular order. <laughs> Let me show you what I got. Sabrina, Sabrina Simon from Simon Says Let's Make a Deal was on with, I believe it was Tammy at Vintage Uprising one night and she had this beautiful brooch. Let me, should have grabbed a piece of paper because wait I am told that is the best thing to have on hand to put behind the brooches to show you so Tammy is able to just grab hers through the paper I don't know how she does that she must have soft paper maybe it's a tissue I don't know but it is this lovely poodle look at this rhinestone poodle it is pink purple and black look at that oh look at that that's charming isn't it charming let's see how close can I go while it still focuses is that still focusing I know everybody always goes be still be still but you can't be still when you got your arm held out like that so anyway <laughs> this lovely guy or girl whatever she may be let me grab her by her pen is just so sparkly and magnificent so i had to pick her up and a cool fact about miss poodle here is that not only is she a pen but if you look right here she has the attachment to turn her into a pendant so brooch or pendant beautiful and it came wrapped up in, in lovely tissue paper and in a little bag to keep it in as well and of course package toppers you know recycled paper some lovely little bits and bobs thank you Sabrina very nice as described thank you all right this little guy I picked up from Sam at Thrift U. Make sure I hold it the right way. Isn't this cute? A footed trinket dish in the shape of an egg, very much like the Tiff. Were they Tiffany eggs? That's not right. Who did the eggs? Oh, I sh I know this. Oh, I. I feel like such an idiot for not remembering well you're all saying it in the in the chat and I'll be saying it too because by now I've looked it up and I'll know so or not by now but by then anyway there we go look at that beautiful cobalt blue so it's a sweet little egg a nice little keepsake and a good little box to put things in to make them look good and it's uniquely colored so that when when uh, Easter rolls around I can use it it'll be different and because it's not you know all sugary sweet Easter looking I can I can use it for a lot of other holidays and decorating needs from Sarah at that same time I picked up a metal recipe file box now 
and it doesn't just have to be recipes it can be any other thing else that you want to store that is you know file card size but it is a beautiful vintage scotch pattern tin with the gold top it does have a little wear on it just like Sarah said it did but I thought it was so fantastic for decorating at Christmas with my scotch tins, you know, the little tape ones and, and just come on, this is, this, this is great for Christmas. All right. This is great for Christmas. Must use. Thank you, Sarah. That's beautiful. And let's go to Christine at Side Street Market. Now from Christine that day, I bought two items. I got this really sweet clothespin bag. It is not the type with the wire. This is the type that you um, just, you untie this and you tie it around your, your wire or your line, whatever you're using for your line, and slide this along the line. And then you put your hands in either side and get clothespins and it is it's deep it's roomy you can put a lot of clothespins in this and it's got the look at that look at these kids flying kites and all sorts of things at the picnic table you know just kids being kids back in the day lovely colors and and i can't wait to get my clothes line up which i'm wanting and use that also that day from Christine, I picked up this beautiful green ceramic bud vase. Look at that. Isn't that gorge? Oh my gosh. Now, I know I can use it at Christmas. I know I can use it in spring. So I will get a lot of use out of it. And I love green, okay? And look going to work in the fall because I think this green will look beautiful with the gold so thank you Christine once again as described and beautiful and let's see oh Christine sent me this little bag of package topper things with her card you know some um, stickers with my initials and um, oh just lovely things just lovely things plus a coupon for her Etsy shop so don't forget to check out Christine's Etsy shop oh and I will of course I will of course put links to all of these wonderful people's um, channels pages whatever they got you know whatever they use will be in the description of this video so you will be able to go and watch their videos and find their links for their shops if they have them let's see who's who's next who's next okay cha-cha the junking data girl this is the first time i bought from cha-cha and i bought something that when i was at the alvin was it the alvin antique mall i think it was the alvin antique mall I saw a booth that had a bunch of these in it. And I wanted one then, but oh my word, they were so expensive. They really, really were so expensive. But, cha cha, it was so reasonable. And I got a first time buyer's discount. Okay, so just know that, you know, first time buyers, she does a 10% discount. I do not know if it's was a special that night or all the time so look into that it really does help but what I mean it was great to have it but it didn't this uh, this the price of this was great so I'm very pleased with it and it's my colorway just let me show you what oh my gosh is isn't that mid-century heaven look at that the driftwood with the lucite grapes why there are lucite grapes on driftwood i don't know i do not know how that could be considered 
naturally occurring who came up with that concept but and this is a this is a chunky piece okay this was heavy so, but what oh look at those green loose side grapes oh grape envy right and this beautiful piece of of driftwood oh my gosh look at it isn't that fabulous this is a beautiful piece this this is a piece that i didn't even know i wanted <laughs> until i saw it and then i realized where have you been all my life <laughs> this thing is gorgeous this thing is really gorgeous i don't know why it appeals to me so much other than i love lucite grapes i always thought they were very um classy and high style back in the mid you know the 60s and the 70s when i was a little girl and i went to people's houses not my house but other people's houses so yeah i think what it is is i saw movies tv shows about california and they had all these marvelous california mid-century houses you know that were just just that california style are you kidding me and had things like this in it very earthy but beautiful bright green colors and the oranges and the you know the 70s colors and stuff so <sighs> thank you Chacha. i really really like it i really really like it and let's see oh and and Chacha had package toppers as well she had sweet little stickers and candy. Okay, who does not like to be sent candy? Come on. Hello. You had me. You had me. And from Gina at Vintage Digs. One night she was having a sale with uh, Cat, Calypso Cat Antiques. And she, oh man, she got me. She, this I collect these books. I have a slew of them. If you don't know what a slew is, you might not be from the South. <laughs> but I have a, a passel. Does that help? I have a bunch of these, these mid-century cookbooks. Um, they are cookbooks. They are entertaining books. So if I ever get to <laughs> entertain... <laughs> Oh, with all my stuff oh wow that would be fabulous it would tell you how to put on a real spread for your family the pictures in these types of books are not to be forgotten okay you know you see all this glass that we pick up all these ceramics these serving pieces and things like that if you want to see them in their natural habitat You've got to pick up some of these books and look at them. Let me see if I can find you a good example of perhaps that one. A lot of these are close-ups of, you know, the food themselves here. Let's see. Okay, here you go. Here's a fondue pot that's not being used for fondue. Look at that. This is a breakfast spread. So you can see they're using their beautiful green fondue pot to keep their scrambled eggs warm. So here you go, you see how to do it, you get the recipes to do it, and you see these beautiful things we collect in their natural state. How they were designed to be used once upon a time. Buffets for casual living, buffets to honor special guests. Look at that. And each of these pictures that are on the back are also featured inside the book so yeah if you want to learn how they were it was used um so that you can use it yourself so that you can describe it better however these are the books to do it but i really shouldn't be telling you this because everybody's going to want these books and i buy these books <laughs> so i think i'm probably defeating my own purpose here 
Alrighty, let's see. The last thing that I want to show you before we dive into the trusty huckster mystery box. Hmm, I feel like I should go dun da 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 every time. <laughs> and oh, I didn't think about it. Tonight, tonight was the night that Trusty was going to be on stage. And as of last Thursday, he wasn't sure how he was going to handle his, his show, if he was going to do a premiere like this one, or if he was going to try to go live between, perform between performances backstage. So what, whatever it was, and I know, I know by now, in the future, because I will be watching Break a leg, Patrick. I, I hope you have a, a good performance and, and that you have a lot of fun. I know it's going to go great. Shall go swimmingly. So, so anyway, the last item I have before is from D at Thrill of the Thrift. This is gorgeous, y'all. This is gorgeous and it is in pristine condition. Uh, I want to show it to you. I want to show it to you well, but I don't want anything to happen to it. Look. Look at this triangle-shaped candy dish. Look at the pattern on that. Oh my gosh, they're like pinwheels. Do you see that? It's like a pinwheel. And then look at that top. And I, I'm, I don't even remember who she said made it, if she said who made it. I'm so... I was just so excited over getting it. I believe it was an offer up and I, and I won it. It's just, look, and look at the little feet on the bottom. Isn't it the most beautiful color blue? Look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful color blue? Okay. Now that this is in, I'm, and I know this is after the 4th of July, but this is not after the 4th of July for me right now. So as soon as I get through filming this video, I'm running over to put this in my 4th of July display because I have a few little pieces, you know, in this blue to, and you've seen the, the pictures on Instagram. So now I'm going to get to add this and it's just really it's gonna just be lovely. But anyway, so 4th of July decor, check, okay? Spring decor, check. Winter decor, check. Christmas, okay? This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful Christmas color. It really is. If you haven't decorated with this sort of blue, and this sort of blue mixed with a pink and a silver at Christmas, you are missing out because that makes for a lovely, lovely color combination for Christmas, okay? D, I love this. This is so sweet. This is so fabulous. Look, I told you it had that, look at that, look at that flower on the bottom. Look right here along the bottom. Do you see that pattern? The, the leaf, kind of like, almost like a palm leaf, and then a pinwheel looking flower. Looks like um, fireworks. But yes, I am in love with this dish. I, the shape of it, the color of it, I am in love with this dish. And, I mean, when I got it, it was wrapped so well. And look, this was on the finial to protect it. Oh my gosh, I will never ship anything with a finial again without this piece of noodle <laughs> on the finial, on the handle. Oh my gosh, D, genius. I love it. Okay, it's that time, folks. We're reaching the last half of our premiere video. And it's time to delve into the trusty huckster mystery box. 
If you don't have one, you need to get one. <gasps> I'm so excited. I do not know what's in here. I promise. I have not peeked. This is all I have seen, okay? I haven't seen what's in it. I do not know what's in it. I have put my trust in the trusty huckster, and I know it's going to be good, so. Hmm. Oh, I forgot he said that was going to be in there. <laughs> this is going to be in all of them. Let me, let me, let me show you. Because I already have one of these. But <laughs> I have one of these because Beth, Carolina Prince of Sweet Treats and Pretties, last, this last Valentine's Day, Around Valentine's Day, all of us Texas girls, we met up and went thrifting. And Beth gave us all a little Valentine's treat. And she had bought one of these for all of us. <laughs> so we all have these. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Move my stuff out of the way. So I have Ah, oh, you, you want a peek? <gasps> There's a tan in here. You want a peek? Look. Look. Woo! Okay. All right. Let's start with the obvious. <gasps> looky, looky. Look at the old oh, Kiwi tin. Boot polishing. Oh, darest I look? Oh. Oh, it's stuck. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh man, that smell. Leather boots. Oh man. That is a childhood smell. That's going into Sadler's Western wear. But 59 cents. Oh yes. You know, these colors are gonna be so good at Halloween for a Halloween display. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Shape cards. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, they're taped up. I can't get into them. Darn it. Oh my gosh. Okay, look. Look at that picture. Look. Isn't that Oscar? <laughs> oh God, I can't wait to get into that. That's going to be cute. Oh, Patrick, how did you know? How did you know? Okay, this is Mardi Gras beads. Corona Extra. That is the beer of choice in this household, my friend. That is the beer of choice in this household. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. Oh, let's see. Chicago Tribune pattern. Oh, Patrick sent me a vintage pattern. Look at that. Oh, look at this dress. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look. Is that dress? Isn't that stylish? The two piece? But, there's more. Oh my goodness. Look at this long apron. This this apron. I, now, I don't know if you. I, I I do not consider this a um, a cooking baking apron. This looks like something that you they wore over their dresses because I remember them having those, you know, back in the 40s and stuff. And that's what this is. This looks like the 40s. I do believe there may be. Let's see. From New York, Chicago Tri Tribune patterns. Postage paid, permit, postmaster, yada yada. No date. So I'm going to have to look on the, um, I'm going to have to open up the, the, the pattern instructions and stuff, the guides, because there will be a date in there somewhere. Oh, thank you, Patrick. This was built with me in mind. I love it. I love it. 
Okay, some more ephemera. What have we got? Oh, it's the card from Patrick. Our friendship is a perfect 10. And then we've got a photograph. Oh, and a cigar band. Look. Oh, my goodness. Look at this cigar band. Isn't that sweet? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Are these cigarette cards? Yes. It's got an airplane. That's what this is. Oh, my goodness. And a label. Wilson's irradiated, unsweetened, evaporated milk. Look, folks. Irradiated. Oh, that label is nice. And... Is this Red Cross? Let's see. American Junior Red Cross. Look at this. See that little metal pen? It's an American Junior Red Cross pen. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, I'm so excited by that. Thank you, Patrick. Lovely, lovely. And of course, a trusty Hutster Mercantile coaster card. Oh, God. That's so cute. That's so cute. Some buttons. Look at these little baby buttons. Costume Makers trademark baby buttons. Look, 10 cents for this card. Ah. Uh, well, Patrick knows that I'm a, a sewist and a quilter, so adding sewing notions into my mystery box was a win and just shows how much he pays attention and he knows his customers what is this pretty thing hold on little sticky spot u.s art supply liberty series canvas panel Small writing. Medium weight, archival quality, acid free for all media. Okay, check this out. It's a painting. Look at that. It reminds me when you slice, you know, those, those, um, those lovely geodes and stuff and they take the slices, the quartz and things, and they polish them. Isn't that what it looks like? And look, of course, it's in, with the greens. Patrick knows his peeps. Oh, I like that. That's different. I'm getting to doing the stuff first that doesn't have to be opened. Oh, some trim. Oh, my goodness. Look at this trim. Look at that trim. Isn't that? beautiful all those colors oh my gosh this would go on my fourth of july display too oh my word it looks like a beaded belt like a um, native american beaded belt isn't that precious oh i love that oh i love that i love sewing notions and the such let's see what else have we got Okay, we've got some bobbins. There we go. We've got some old paper bobbins. These are in the bottom of the box. Oh man. So you put these in with your um, wooden spools and stuff in jars of different sizes and shapes. My mother in law has an old. Um, bubble gum machine you know that she'd put the penny in and you'd spin it around that she opened it up and she filled it with wooden spools and old bobbins and stuff lovely decorating item when you have a sewing room and craft room all righty let's see now what is this one black diamond string standard guitar my husband plays guitar oh look he's gonna love this 
Now, the box has got a little bend in it, so you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking if I put something in it that holds its shape and then blow the hair dryer on it, that might help to make it come back out. It, or it may just take time. But look at that. Black Diamond Strings, manufactured exclusively by National Music String Company in New Brunswick, New Jersey, since 1898. That is fabulous, and there is a string in it. Let's see. Which one is it? Okay, standard guitar, G or third. So it's a G string. It's a, it's a G string. Very funny, Patrick. <laughs> okay, the trusty hustler has sent me a G string. <laughs> Patrick, I don't know if that was a, an accident, a, a funny, funny accident or purposeful, but man, that, that's hilarious. That is very hilarious. So yeah, another lovely Halloween display or, oh, you know what? I'm going to put it, we ha my husband has a display, a little display area that's got a vintage microphone on a stand you may have seen on my instagram account some old trains as we have our old cameras and our old radio and stuff i'm going to put that this there this that will be perfect there just perfect let's see and patrick the trusty huckster says martha thank you for your order patrick thank you patrick for putting together a very personalized gift box mystery box okay now guys these need to be opened so um we'll try to open them quietly and calmly i am excited i had just put up a new blade in my knife here i have to um, remember it's a new blade not that dull one that i was struggling with so i don't cut myself okay that one's done that one's done. So yeah, that one's done. almost. Okay, and then this one. All right, three items to go. What is this one? Oh, listen. Oh, wait. Do you hear? I'm thinking BBs. No, it may not be. Might not be the right sound for babies. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Oh! They're seeds! Look! Not only are they beautiful blue and orange, but... How, how do I... Do you open these? <gasps> Look at that. Look. It's seeds. I would not have guessed seeds. These are radish salad mixed. See? These are... Oh, wait. These are 1977 seeds. Do you think there's any chance they'll still grow? Turnip. Purple top turnips. Darn if I'm not going to see if I can grow these. <gasps> this one's empty. Oh, the letdown. <laughs> oh, but oh, look at that. That beautiful blue and orange. That's great. I love that. And I'm going to actually try to grow some of those. <gasps> oh, man. This one popped open while I had my back turned. Oh, which, by the way, that was my husband. I guess he probably heard me in here ooing and aahing and going, oh no, and, oh yes, and getting all excited. So he popped in and he goes, are you good? <laughs> I'm like, yes, I'm good. He was checking on me, wanted to make sure nothing had happened to me. Oh, he's so sweet. I wish for all of you to have a long marriage like I've had and still feel the love and devotion 
and protective instinct for your spouse that I do. So. TWA cards. Check it out. Trans World Airlines. Nifty. Look at that. <gasps> These bad boys have not been shuffled. <laughs> But I always like to look and see what kind of jokers they have. That's a cool joker. Okay, now let's look at, okay, standard kings and queens and aces. But that joker, that's cool. There could be some sort of great craft that you could do with jokers from, you know, a bunch of different styles of cards. Because they all look so different. Hmm. I wonder. Kind of like the, uh mortarboards that from twilight you know from their continuous matriculation you know their graduation caps you know in there i like them i like them okay last item last item uh oh double layer of bubble wrap and tape and oh oh Oh, look at this! <gasps> Farking! Look! Look at this milk glass coffee cup with this heart on it. Oh, Patrick! This is lovely! Oh, look at that! Perfect! Oh, I love everything, Patrick. I really do. It's, you know, it's so great when you shop. And you know what's coming. You know what you're going to get. And that's wonderful. And you're excited to get it. But then when um, you've ordered a mystery, you don't know what you're going to get. You know the types of things your seller sells and carries. Which, for me, that would be really, you wouldn't be able to even be able to predict because I don't have any one thing that, maybe an elephant, but I don't have any one certain, I don't have a style. When I have a live sale, I try to get a little bit of something, everything, you know, a little, so I don't know. But, so anyway, when you're getting a mystery box, you don't know what's coming, so you, it's like Christmas. You're waiting for it to arrive, Christmas Day. Then it's sitting there, you know, under the tree. And you're waiting for this Christmas morning to open it up and see what the person has put together for you. And if he didn't put this together with me in mind, that's fine. That's fine. It feels like he did. And that's the important part. You know, all of these sellers wrapped up all of these items so very carefully to me that I felt their consideration to me and the items that I had chosen that I wanted to, you know, bring into my home. I could tell that they all wrapped with care. They wanted them to get here just as they had sold them to me so that I would enjoy them. And I do. I mean, from the beautiful mid-century decor from Chacha to the, the, the blue glass candy dish from Dee, the mysteries from Patrick, my goodness I mean he sent me so many lovely sewing things that are so perfectly me that fit that will just just move right into my collection and the pen the you know I'm just so pleased with everything and I'm just so pleased with how this premiere has gone you know, it's time to end this. I know Nancy says she's not going to, you know, be back just yet. But, got to stay in practice. You know, got to be ready for when Nancy returns to us all. And you never know, she might feel like popping on for even a few minutes to say hello. 
and that would be great I know everybody would love that so we get we keep it at an hour but I, I, I thank you guys for coming and I know it wasn't a sale you didn't get to buy anything but I hope you were entertained by the, the lovely things that I chose and it lets you know a little bit about me about the things that I like because these are the things that I chose to buy to bring into my home, not necessarily things that I chose to offer to you for your home so that you can, you know, see the difference. I hope you will stay tuned to my channel. Um, I hope you have that, that um, notification bell, you know, lit up <laughs> so that you will know. Wait, I had to do it. I felt a piece of bubble wrap. I had to pop it. Got it. Okay. I hope you have that notification bell lit so that you will know when I have a new video or I come on live to show you something. Um, Chrissy showed me how to do live on Instagram so I hope I can remember and figure it out because I'd like to bring you something live on Instagram as well and visit you guys there. So make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Okay, I'd love to have you part of our our moonlight crew we have a lot of fun and please come and follow me on Instagram you're welcome to check out my eBay channel eBay channel my eBay store it's a little light right now until I finish getting this room all situated I, I don't really have the time to to put a lot of stuff on it so but you know so anyway like this video if you would please subscribe if you're not already please ask your friends to subscribe I believe it last time I looked I was around 440 subscribers so I'm looking at that 500 and I do have a sweet little planter to give away um, when we are firmly at the 500 mark so I would appreciate if you like grab somebody and tell them to hey go check her out especially if it's somebody new who's gonna come and talk and, and and play games with this and have a good time so anyway I'm sure I have had a long day traveling and having a good time with my husband so it's time to say good night and thank you once again and I will talk to you soon oh and next Thursday night we'll be on Daniel's channel tacky is me for the triple T two Texans and a side of tacky sale so remember next Thursday night we'll start I don't know they may start at 9 I've got to ask them I don't know it could be 8 could be 9 I don't know I don't know I'm at a loss I'll find out I'll find out and I'll put something up for you I'll let you know so anyway come back and see us make sure you go and visit all my friends and I'll see you guys later